Hello, Dr. Jen here, the Intuitive Phoenix. Wanting to talk to you if you're still feeling stuck. Are you making changes to get results or to increase results or to shift your experience? And you're finding that even when you're making changes that you still feel stuck that you really aren't getting the results that you hoped. What I wanna share with you is the one thing that you can do to shift into results. And that is start giving yourself credit. Start acknowledging in a powerful way the changes that you're making. To give you an example, I was talking to a client earlier and she started off the session with, I'm stressed, I've had a stressful morning, and then proceeded to tell me a story about her morning. And in the course of that story, she shared how she was putting new boundaries in place, how she was being honest, how she was being loving. Hey, Tamala, hey, Cal, welcome. So in the course of her description, describing her morning, she's sharing, she put boundaries in place, that she was showing up in a loving way, that she was being honest, that she was taking care of herself. And yet her story was still about stress, doubt, and uncertainty. So I walked her through her story asking some really specific questions about what she shared. And she was able to say, yes, I put boundaries into place. Yes, this was loving. Yes, I was being honest. Yes, I was taking care of myself and showing up in a really authentic way. But yet, the story she had told herself was she had a really stressful day. And you could hear the energy in her voice was, well, low. So after getting these answers, I asked her to rewrite the events of the morning from a place of empowerment, from a place of personal power, a place of certainty versus a place of doubt. And I highlighted how the same event, when a viewed through that lens of personal power, empowerment, love, how the same story could be viewed differently. And you could hear, well, not so much hear, feel the click that occurred when she realized, you're right. She knew she had to make some changes, which she did. And then even with making those changes, because those changes are new, the behaviors are new, you also have to follow it up with how you view it, how you perceive it, how you catalog it and define it for yourself. Because we can change our behavior, we can take new action, but if we keep telling ourselves it's not enough or well, yeah, I did that, but I don't know. If we keep showing up in that energy of doubt and uncertainty, that's what's going to continue to be mirrored back to us. So she sounded really excited when we ended our call because she was going to rewrite her story. And I could already feel it. She could already feel how things have changed. So if you're taking new action to get new results, and you put that action into place, even if it didn't go 100% like you'd like it to, acknowledge and give yourself credit for the changes that you have made. And then, if need be, rewrite the events that occurred from a place of power, from a place of personal empowerment, from a place of taking aligned, intentional action. And in doing that, you'll create a new foundation and a new way of moving forward that can be built on in future experiences.
Now, if you've got questions, if you've got comments about this, if this resonates or maybe it doesn't, feel free to post them either now while I'm live or if you watch this later and I will get back to you. Because it's really important that you continue to acknowledge the changes that you're making, the actions that you're taking. And I will also add, don't ask your mind how you're doing. Your mind is going to go to the old thought patterns, the old routines, the old perceptions, because that's, that's what it's efficient at. Go into yourself, ask your heart, ask your gut, because your heart and your gut are going to tell you the truth. Our mind, not so great at telling us the truth. It's going to tell us what we already know or what we've already experienced. The mind's not great at helping us to step into new patterns of thought. It wants to keep us safe. It wants to keep us in what we know, even if that's not necessarily where we want to go. All right. I look forward to hearing from you. Tell me about your experiences, how acknowledging yourself changes the results. Post those below. And until we connect again, I'm sending you health and love and ease in your transformation. I'll talk to you later. Bye.